What's up y'all, Toya here, and I am back with another video for y'all. Before we get into the video, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and share. All right, y'all, let's let's talk about it. Let's let's talk about what transpired during that Uber Eats video, y'all. I felt like I had to go ahead and do a sit down, do a recap, because I ain't gonna lie, I was all over the place in that video. I was so upset. Let's take a step back. Let's go through everything that happened. Let's go through some of the things that I liked, some of the things I didn't like. A lot of it's gonna be mostly stuff that I didn't like, but yeah, we're gonna pretty much break down what happened and yeah let's let's decide is this better than DoorDash because honestly I don't know maybe I just had bad luck but let's 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 go into it let's go into it y'all all right y'all let's just walk through this step by step everything that happened okay so right off the bat it's like 4 30 in the afternoon okay prime time rush hour people coming home from work I'm thinking bet this should be a good time to do some food delivery people want to get their food for dinner you know all of that stuff so I'm like all right let me go ahead get in the car do my little intro by the time I finished the intro it was about I say 4 35 close to 4 40 so I was like all right let me put myself online and wait for an order to come through so I'm sitting there for a good like five minutes or so and the first order I got which I didn't get a screenshot of but it was like a six dollar order for like six and a half miles and I was thinking about it and I'm like mm. the reason I didn't take it is because I had to go south to the restaurant like a good maybe three and a half miles and then come right back to where I was because the house was like in the vicinity of where I was so I'm like I'm just going down to come back up to the same spot so I'm like you know what nah that's okay I'll skip that one and I kid you not I waited a good 10 close to 15 minutes after that and I'm like yo I ain't get a single order I'm like crap I might have messed up maybe I shouldn't decline my first order and I was like you know what I need to go get gas let me just go get gas maybe while I'm on the way uh something will pop up I'm on my way on my way stuck in traffic because I'm on a main street a lot of traffic there and then boom my first order pops up complete opposite direction of where I'm going and I'm like okay i could continue to go get gas but i don't know how much longer i'm gonna be on the street because traffic is crazy i'm just gonna flip back around and come back another time right so i go pick up that order drop it off as you saw it was an eight dollar order okay i look at my app and there's a section that shows like how much you've earned for the day so far it said it was like two dollars and some change i'm like is it still updating is something wrong so i'm confused because i'm like it said it was eight dollar order i'm expecting it to pop up with eight dollars right no it was like two dollars and some change i'm like okay it's weird continuing on right Right? Cause maybe two minutes after that, boom, here go another order. Got this order, right? Six dollars. Like bet. Go ahead, go to the restaurant, pick that order up, drop it off. Cool. I look at my total earnings. Now it says eight dollars and some change. I'm like, okay, so I got the full amount for that one. Why didn't I get the full amount for the other one? So I'm thinking, okay, maybe I got called support. Something happened. I don't know. I'm thinking they took they tip back or something. I don't even. I didn't know. I didn't know, okay? I'm driving around for a bit, wasn't getting anything. Head back to the gas station, got my gas, still waiting for an order. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna start driving back home. And if I get an order, cool. If not, whatever. I guess we just gonna have to call the, call the video early and, you know, whatever. On my way home, boom got this eight dollar one right i'm like cool bet go to the restaurant pick up the food get to the house making a joke saying man i better get my full eight dollars for this they better not give me two dollars drop off the food get in the car look at my total earnings that joint said eleven dollars is some change boy when i tell you i was beyond upset i drove around almost two hours I was active for, yeah, I was active for almost two hours. I only did three orders. And the reason I only did the three was because, well, the other orders I got, honestly, they were, they were garbage. Like, these are the different types of orders that I turned down. I was like, I'm, I, I don't know. I honestly, I, I would say I declined probably at least seven or eight. I didn't get screenshots of everything, but yeah, I got offered maybe 10 orders. I only did the three. And that's just because the distance, so the amount that I was making for it didn't make sense to me. I don't know. They the honestly the offers, if you look at these offers and comparing to some of the DoorDash offers, they're kind of on par. Honestly, some of them might be worse because here's a couple things that I noticed. Like these are some of the things that I noticed that I don't like, okay? You can get orders that take you out fairly far. There was one that I accidentally accepted. 
and I ended up canceling it. It was a it was a pickup for it was two different orders. And if I remember correctly, the payout was like ten dollars, but I had to drive like eighteen miles, and this took me into a bad area. And I'm like, nah, we ain't doing that. And that's the thing that sucks because when the order pops up on your screen, it takes up literally almost fifty percent of your screen. I don't know what I was doing. I think I was scrolling through something else. Maybe I was trying to pull up a navigation, and I accidentally tapped the offer and to accept it you just have to tap it so I accidentally <laughs> accepted it I was like oh no 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 we are not doing this one we ain't doing this I went through I figured it out how to go and cancel it I had to cancel both orders because like I said it was two separate pickups and yeah so that's one thing I don't like that is tap on accept like DoorDash is literally an accept button and you just tap it if you want to accept so so yeah like I said I didn't get a screenshot of that one but I'm like ten dollars for an 18 mile drive like what and then I think it was like gonna take 45 minutes 45 50 minutes or so and I'm like I'm not about to spend a whole hour driving around for ten dollars bro and so yeah that's the thing that I noticed it seems that like you have offers that will take you way out there compared to DoorDash I think for my DoorDash excursion the furthest one it would have taken me out because I did decline that one that one was like a 10 mile drive and it was like $15 so I'm like mm. yeah that's the furthest I've seen I can't recall if DoorDash would take you any further than that you guys can let me know if DoorDash is taking you any further than 10 miles but Uber Eats it seemed like they they're willing to go ahead and let you drive a bit so back to the whole earning situation okay so at the end of my run seeing that I made $11 in just under two hours was not something I wanted to see clearly I was upset and looking back on it now I can laugh but at that point man and maybe maybe I missed the fine print somewhere maybe I missed it somewhere along the way when I was doing the, the training because I honestly don't recall seeing anything saying like oh you'll be offered this amount but the actual amount you'll get paid could vary and listen I'm pretty sure there are some actual Uber East drivers here that's watching this and probably like yo how could you not know this blah blah listen listen coming from a DoorDash driver you have you know certain expectations and to be quite honest those expectations are already kind of low but to be quite honest seeing your earnings tally up like right then and there is kind of like a norm so that's what I'm used to if I'm offered this amount of money for something and at the end it says oh you only made a percentage of that I'm gonna be like yo what what what's going on so yeah of course I was a little confused I was a little pissed off so maybe I didn't read the fine print when I was doing the the training I, I don't know maybe I missed the video somewhere to be honest I was watching one of the videos and it was like oh yeah you'll go through like a, a demo delivery or something where it's like a virtual delivery in order to show you all the steps I didn't see that virtual delivery anywhere on my app unless it's somewhere else and I miss it I don't know you know I I didn't know <laughs> I literally didn't know so yeah maybe I should have looked up some more information about it but as a prior DoorDash driver that's what I'm used to so when I see like, all right, this is the amount that they're offering for this delivery, I wholeheartedly expected that it would be there for me in my earnings summary. And like I said, it wasn't. So, you know, I, I was a little heated. It, I was a little heated. I ain't even gonna hold you up. Now, will I do Uber Eats again? Mm. I honestly would rather do DoorDash, at least in this area. It seems that DoorDash has a lot more opportunity. Like I get a lot more orders that kind of a little bit closer to what I want to do when it comes to pay to mileage ratio again this was only my first uber eats run so if I were to do it again maybe I'll have way more success but do I even want to entertain that I I don't really know because I already kind of know food delivery is gonna be like more or less a filler for me if it's gonna be slow with my other deliveries you know sure I might turn it on and do a couple runs try to get 50 bucks in you know a couple hours if I can but it's not gonna be something I'm gonna be doing on a regular to be quite honest now I know there are probably some people watching this and they're like well I get plenty of good orders on Uber Eats you know you you just need to you know keep going at it or whatever like yeah you, you might be right but to be quite honest some of these apps they don't work very well in certain areas you might thrive on uber eats in one area but doordash is dead to be quite honest i feel like it's like that here i feel like doordash is probably more superior i haven't done grubhub so i don't honestly know if i want to sign up for that but yeah i don't want to keep going down a rabbit hole with all these food delivery apps honestly it seems like i would have more success 
here in this area with DoorDash. Now, if I go downtown or closer to the city, not even downtown, probably Uber Eats would be a lot better there. Probably more people prefer to do Uber Eats and DoorDash or Grubhub. I don't know. Yes, it's definitely going to be based off of your location. I'm not trying to make it seem like Uber Eats is the worst thing ever. Like I said, for me personally, based off of my experience, this, this was not a good first impression. And honestly, because of that, I don't know if we're going to revisit Uber Eats ever again. Again, so but yeah guys that's really all i got for this video i would love to hear from you guys if there are any people out there that do uber eats on a regular if you have any tips for me let me know in the comments because i don't want to give up on uber eats like i said this is my first experience i'm pretty sure i did a lot of stuff wrong and y'all was probably looking at me like yo what is wrong with her she she don't even know what she's doing so if you have any tips specifically for uber eats let me know in the comments y'all but I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. And as always, stay safe out there and keep grinding.